Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we're on February 3rd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. I apologize, I haven't been able to get out the full Daily Dews recently. I've been working, which is a really good thing. We're gonna start out here looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms here, at incoming images, large plasma filament erecting and erupting away from the sun on the outgoing limbs here massive you can see that it's about probably 20 earths in height look at that amazing filament eruption pretty quiet all in all with the sun except for coronal holes we do have another coronal hole earth facing we are now being affected by this coronal hole wind stream and have been for the past couple days as we've seen the solar winds increase to over 600 kilometers per second looking here at the real-time solar wind as you can see we are at about 472 right now but it peaked to 617 kilometers per second overnight and it's been ripping up and gouging our planet and you can see here the magnetosphere, how the solar winds are affecting and going around our planet. And this is the last three hours now, 400 kilometers per second. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 36. And you can see just over the last few hours, very excitable energy around the planet. We are at an amp amplitude of 35. A power of 8.5 quality and a frequency max of 7.75. Looking at earthquakes the last 24 hours. Pretty busy across the North American plate as well through Oklahoma. And a small earthquake being reported today in Tennessee. And New Mexico. 4.9 there at a 10 kilometer depth. And then as well through California, 3.7, 3.2.8, 2.9 there. Still the Salton Sea, just west of the Salton Sea in the New Mexico border. 4.9 reported here. Starry Russia as well, 4.2. Japan. 4.5 notable over here. Indonesia. Sinabung Volcano. And as well here, 4.9, 5.1, Papua New Guinea, all very shallow earthquakes today. After that large 6.6, .6, reported 6.9 in some places, earthquake in the West Chile Rise. And this is it here, now 6.7, 5.0, reported Shetland Islands, 4.4, in Bolivia, 4.9, Ecuador region, Dominican Republic still seeing earthquake swarm. Gotta really wonder what's going on over there. New volcano maybe, undersea volcano in a subduction zone, I don't know. As well, 5.0 reported in Africa, which was noted today in a video. As well, I want to thank everybody for joining up the live streams. Thanks for getting into the chat section and st saying hi and checking in. Let me know how you're doing, how your weather is. I appreciate meeting everybody from around the world. And thank you, moderators, for all of your help in stream as well. Looking here the last seven days, 
pretty busy, especially through Puerto Rico. This is definitely a watch zone, North American plate over the next little bit. In my eyes, really, as we've got, of course, the Cascades and into the San Andreas fault zone, but we also have the new Madrid, which is constantly turning up into the Cascades. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes being updated. And yes, a bit of a frenzy right now. Uh, large eruptions, Etna, Reventador, Sabancaya, Dakono, Rung, Indonesia, explosive eruptions there, Kluchevskoy in Russia, Suez in Ajima, Japan, Fuego, explosive eruptions there as well. Lots of avalanches being reported as well. Canada, US, Switzerland, heavy snows and large volcanic eruptions. Welcome to the new mini ice age. And as well, there was no tsunami with the alerts that went out yesterday. Looking here, major systems affecting North America, winter storms for the Atlantic coastline and as well throughout the United States Central and Northeast United States. As well, we have some extreme weather that's breaking out in the Southern Hemisphere as well. Our friends down in Australia, Tropical Cyclone Lucas is now affecting Papua New Guinea and then down into New Caledonia as it moves southward. And there's also Tropical Cyclone 18, which has been spinning for eight days down the northwestern coast of Australia and is heading straight for thoughts and prayers to Perth, Western Australia, as you have been affected by some monstrous forest fires. About 71 homes have been burned already, and this cyclone is on its way to you. So thoughts and prayers, and hopefully this helps put out the fire and put a damper to your sorrows already. Again, thoughts and prayers to everyone affected around the world by floods, fires, and everything that is natural to our planet. Interesting events happening here in the Southern Hemisphere. I wanted to point this out here. The long lines of intertropical convergences. And that's kind of why we've got this extreme weather event happening around Australia. All of the islands and the continent. As we've got cool lines of atmospheric moisture running from the south to the north. And then we've got equatorial moisture that is being fueled down. So we've, we're getting these extreme weather events and this is just the beginning, folks. Just the beginning. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike, starting out here at Calgary, Alberta. Yes, it's pretty cold outside right now, minus 14 degrees Celsius. But by the end of this forecast, it's going to be a very chilly, four, minus 39 to minus 40 in some places without the wind chill. So pay attention to this forecast, folks, and be ready because we've got a deep extreme polar vortex heading our, our way and I've been warning February is going to be a long cold month so next five days Calgary we saw 10 centimeters of snow last night we'll probably see another 5 to 10 centimeters as this high pressure ridge moves in and mixes with the warm moisture from the south but really these temperatures minus 42 and minus 34 in some areas for northern Alberta. Minus 9 as far south as Utah. Down into Colorado. So another major system here. Forming Tuesday into Wednesday. And we'll be heading towards the Hudson Bay. And there's another winter engine. Another low pressure system helping keep these cold temperatures around watch this system here to bring winter storm conditions all across northern Ontario and Quebec and then these systems are gonna ride a line across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe and low pressure system affecting the United Kingdom over the next couple days as it moves away high pressure ridge from the south is gonna bring a little bit of snow to the United Kingdom and parts of Central Europe. 
but watch as these low pressure systems start hammering Europe over and over again. Massive flooding conditions across Spain and Turkey. Large low pressure system here forming across Russia. And that's going to be heading straight into those super Siberian cold temperatures. And then watch for these large low pressure systems that are spinning across our planet right now. Continue to do so. And they spawn off little energies and little other little lows as they go along. But they end up reforming somewhere. So watch for very intense winter storm conditions across eastern Russia and Kamchatka as they're going to be seeing three winter storms this week. Southeast Asia, not much to talk about. Monsoon rains through central. And then later in the week for parts of Thailand, watch for rain. But the big, the big story here is the intertropical convergence I was talking about. Extremely warm and tropical moisture mixing with cold temperatures from the southern hemisphere. Watch for quite a system to form here later in the week for parts of northern Australia. That could be a cyclone. And as well, watch for tri Tropical Cyclone 18 to continue. Scathing down the Australia coastline. Tropical system affecting parts of New Caledonia this week. One leaving Fiji and more tropical moisture on the way. And watch for New Zealand later in the week. Long range forecast. Pay, can, pay attention tomorrow because this could change big time. You could have a big storm on your doorstep, New Zealand. We'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the major systems. Those really tight lines together. Very strong winds. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. And again, thank you so much for following 187 countries worldwide. God bless you all. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.